Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Captain Lee demystified the tipping process further on Twitter, sharing that every member of the crew gets an equal cut of the tip, including the captain, as well as the couple of below-deck crew members who have typically not appeared on camera, such as the first officer and engineer. Make your mark, take our lead! Yes. Guests really do pay for the charters below deck charters cost a pretty penny, and they are paid for by the charter guests, including that wad of cash they hand over for the cruise tip. They spend their real money to be on the show, Cronin explained. Make your mark, take our lead. Authentic drama, the show is 100% real, she revealed. The producers basically said, we want to create an amazing trip for you. Just have a good time, and that's what we did. So, no, it's definitely not scripted. Take our lead. Is $25,000 the best tip ever on the show? While the $25,000 tip was one of the highest tips, it wasn't the highest ever. The highest tip ever was $30,000, which was awarded during Below Deck Season 5, according to Decider. The crew on Below Deck Med Season 4 came in second with a $27,000 tip. Make your mark, take our lead. The Below Deck crew received no tip only once. The show's cast members work extremely hard to earn tips, and each crew member usually gets a tip of roughly $1,500 per charter. The nautical theme show Below Deck is one of Bravo's biggest crowd pleasers. Take our lead. For a three-day charter on Below Deck, the crew members earn anywhere from $2,000 to $2,500 each in cash. Our charters are a little bit shorter, just so we can make the show, but everything else is exactly the same. So, it's prorated, Below Deck Chief Stewardess Kate Chastain told Entertainment Tonight. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.